Hello there, welcome back to Beauty Bee. I'm Iris, and this is the two month update for my deck of panning project Pan 2022. This project was started by Emily and Max. I will have her intro video linked down below. She goes over the rules in quite a bit of detail, and there are a lot of rules. So, if you would like to participate in this project, I would strongly recommend checking out her video. So I'm working on five products at a time with this project. So let's start by going over the two products that are going to be rolling into the next month with me. First up, we have this e.l.f. Sparkling Rose, I believe this is called their Eye, Lip, and Cheek Tint, or their 3-in-1. It's something along those lines. It is essentially a cream blush. Here is it rolled all the way up. My goal is to use this 20 times. I just rolled this in in the last update and I have used it eight times of the 20 so far, including today I'm wearing it far back on my cheek. I filmed this look. I will have that video linked up in the cards. Don't worry, I know it's a lot. That was intentional. So I have 12 more uses on this. I don't know that I'll be able to do that in the next month. This might take me three months to roll out, but I'm enjoying working on it. It's a nice product. It's very wearable for spring. I don't foresee it being a huge problem. The other product that I cannot roll out this month is from The Balm. This is their Sparkling Liquid Eyeshadow. I have mine in the shade Lavender Mimosa, and my goal was to use this 10 times. I have used it five times, so I am halfway there. This is a very, very pretty shade. It's a lilac, but it has some warm shimmer to it. It's pretty sheer, it's easy to wear. I've just been really liking it, and I'm glad that I put it into this project because though this is a product that I like using every time I use it, it's not something that I often think to bring out. It's not something I often think to use, so I think I only had like eight or nine uses on it when I rolled this into the project, so by the time I am ready to roll this out, which will I think be next month, hopefully it will be next month, I will have doubled my usage on it, and that's fabulous. Now for the three items that are rolling out this month. First up, we have what I have on my lips today. This is Ruby Woo from MAC. My goal was to use this 10 times, and I have used it 10 times. This is number 10 right now. I mean, I have not made any progress in this lipstick over the 10 uses, at least visually. I don't think it looks any different than it did at the beginning of this project, but I did use it 10 times. I've really enjoyed wearing it. I think it is such a bold, fun color, but I am glad to be rolling this out now because I don't see myself wanting to wear this a ton through late March, April, and May. This seems more like a fall and winter, maybe occasionally in the summer kind of color for me. Next we have a nail polish. I just rolled this in in the last update. This is from Sally Hansen. It is their InstaDry Prismatic Shine nail polish in the shade Moonstone. This is a topper with some iridescent blurple glitter in it. It's very, very pretty. I wore this only as a topper. I wore it over blues and greens mainly, but the way that I really loved this was over a black creme polish. When I put it over that black creme, it was black from certain angles and then at other angles you would see this really bold iridescent blue. Um, it was really stunning. It looked just like the pleasing nail polish, the Harry Styles line. They have like a really deep navy and a topper shade that look gorgeous compared together and this gave me that effect for far, far less money. and. I was really pleased with it. That was the single thing that I was most intrigued by in the pleasing line, and I'm glad that I could get something very similar for uh, not $15 a bottle or whatever ridiculous price pleasing is. 
And then the last product is from ColourPop. This was for the prompt, my birthstone. I'm realizing that I haven't been saying that throughout, but oh well. Um, anyway, my birthstone is a diamond, and my goal with this particular product was to hit pan. This is the Ice Dream Super Shock, if I didn't say that already. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there is pan. It is right there. Yeah, I think you can see that. Um, I use this mainly on my inner corner. I also use it as a topper. It's really pretty. It is essentially the eyeshadow version of this nail polish. This is definitely a type of color that I find myself going for over and over again. It's a really pretty iridescent cool tone shimmer is just a perennial favorite around here. And I'm glad that I got some use on that. I'm glad that I can roll it out. And I'm really excited that I get to roll in three new products. Okay, I do this spiel every time, but I do not have any decks of cards with jokers in them. So before I pull from my actual physical card deck, I first randomize between the numbers 1 and 53. And if I get a 53 on any of my, in this case, three draws, I will uh, consider that a joker pull. So let's do this. 49. 45. 15. Okay, no jokers this month, so now we get to move to the deck. Okay, so I've got my deck shuffled and ready. Please be kind to me. Prairie Nights Casino and Resort. I'm going to just, well, I thought I was going to give another shuffle. Sure, that'll be good. Let's cut it right here. And then the first three cards are the Two of Hearts. The Ten of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds. So let's figure out what those prompts are. The Two of Hearts is an SPF product, which I'll have to look to see if any of my makeup maybe has SPF in it because the actual SPF that I use every day is just not something I'm interested in panning at all. It's something that I just want to use naturally. It's not something I have a backlog of or anything. Uh, the King of Diamonds is a red king, which means that would be an oldest product. So an oldest product in a category. We'll figure that one out. And then the Ten of Diamonds is my kid or pet choice. I don't have a kid or a pet. So I'm just going to draw another card. And it is the Nine of Hearts, which is a pencil. Okay, that I can manage. So let me go figure out what I'm going to pull and I will be back in just a few. So apologies if the lighting has changed. I just spent way too long looking at my makeup, trying to figure out if any of it had SPF in it. And I don't think any of it does. So one more card. I feel like I'm cheating so hard this time, but I'm not trying to. Um, Ooh. Well, I guess dropping them kind of counts as shuffling, right? Okay. So let's cut. That is the Ten of Spades. And the Ten of Spades is a spray. So that seems more doable. I will go find that. Okay, so I have returned. It was that spray prompt turned out to be much, much easier than hunting for an SPF product in my collection. So let's start out with that actually. For my, the prompt spray, I want to work on my e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I think I want to get this down to the word hydrating. I think I want to have the fill line overlap somewhat with the word. So that would be using about a third of the product. I've owned this product for quite a while and I've never gotten great use out of it. I 
sure like didn't need to apply that right now but it is really nice smelling i don't think it does a whole lot for my skin though so i don't find myself using it next up for my oldest product i chose my oldest lipstick this is kiss me coral from revlon one of their super lustrous lipsticks and it is an oh i just swatched that over the purple <laughs> it is an orange here is a swatch of that. I really like this shade. It's just something I never think to use. And I think my goal with this is going to be to use it 10 times. That seems quite doable. So 10 uses on that one. And then the third and final prompt was a pencil. And I chose this vintage lip pencil. This is in the shade Mocha. I have not used this on my lips. It's quite a firm pencil. It's sort of a deep nude on me with a little bit of sort of bricky tones to it. It's very pretty. It's just not something that I have used yet. And I think that like the Revlon, my goal is going to be to use this 10 times. I think that'll be good. So, the products that I have for the month are the three that I just introduced, as well as the liquid eyeshadow from the Balm and the e.l.f. blush. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to have these two done by the next update, and maybe I can get the e.l.f. mist to my goal. That seems possible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you're doing this project, I hope it's going really well for you. Um, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope that I will see you all in my next one. Bye!